Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, today, we are going to be working on the song Adore You on the ukulele. We're going to be going through the chords and the strum pattern um, and singing a super fun song. Um, so let me go ahead and give you an example of what we're going to be working on today, and then we will go through the chords and then also the strum pattern. be going through today. Um, I always challenge you if the chords in the strum pattern itself is very easy, I challenge you to try to sing along with it. It's a little harder than it looks because um, the timing is not the same. So I encourage you that if that already looked easy or you know the chords, you can kind of figure out the strum pattern to try to sing it along with me as we go on. So for those who are just starting complete beginners to um, ukulele. This is a great song for you as well because we are starting with a lot of the um, chords that you use a lot for a, many, many songs. These four chords you're going to use repeatedly on ukulele. So if you learn it with this song and you learn this little fun strum pattern, you'll actually be set for way more than this um, song as well. So first let's go ahead and take a look at the actual chord. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Um, that way you can see the chords. Okay, so you'll see my phone background, and then here's our chords. So our first um, chord that we have here is an A minor. So above you'll see my fingers actually doing it. I'm using my second finger, which is my middle finger, up on that top string. And below you'll see the actual chord graph, where you'll see the dot on that top line in the second fret and the dot represents where you play. You'll see there's open circles in the other three strings. That means that you played those ones open. So I know my fingers look a little confusing there, because it looks like they're doing a lot, but it's just that two finger, that middle finger playing that top string, and that's, that's it. All right, so that's our first one. After that, we have another one finger chord, which is called C, and you'll see it's just my three finger, or my ring finger, playing the third fret on that A string, and below you'll see the chord chart, where the dot is on that third fret on that bottom string, or that's the A string. Um, and then you'll see the G, C, and E string are all open. They have those circles there again, telling you that you just strum all of them together, but you just put your finger down on that one string. Our next one that we have is F. This one we use two fingers for. So if you look at the chord chart first, you'll see that our bottom A string, um, and if you need to remember the string names going from the, the string closest to you, it's good cat, eat apple, G, C, E, A. So in the chord chart, you'll see the A and the uh, C string are both open. And then you have your pointer finger, your one finger, on that first fret and on the E string. And then you'll see your two finger, or the middle finger, is up on that G string on the second fret. And you'll see above my hands doing just that chord. That is called an F chord. So far we have A minor, it's the top, string, C, it's the bottom string, F, it's going to be two fingers, and then our last one, which is usually the hardest for people out of these four chords, is G. This one is using three fingers, as you can tell in my picture above. I'm using my one finger, or my pointer finger, on the third string, 
and you'll see that on the chord chart as well, where it's on the uh, good cat's, right, on that cat's string. You'll see my middle finger, my two finger is on the A string, good cat's eat apples, that very bottom one. And then you'll see my ring finger or my third finger is on that good cat's eat on the E string on the third fret. Sounds like that. And then there actually should be a little circle above the G string showing you that that one is open. You do strum all four strings. So if you need to, I recommend that you take a screenshot, especially of this one. This one's probably the hardest out of those four. All right, so we have G, F, C, and A minor. Okay. So the actual order of them is A minor, is this order, A minor, C, F, G, okay. Right. So let's just go ahead and try those chords real quick. So like I said, if you are already more advanced and you know these chords, um, you can either just work on the chords yourselves, uh, start trying to add the strum pattern, but we are going to get there and then we're gonna try to sing at the end as well. So we start with our A minor. I use my middle finger, my two finger, one, two, three, four, two finger up on the G string, good cats, the apples, G, second fret, one, two, second finger, A minor. After A minor, we're gonna go to C. So we're gonna jump from this top string to the bottom string, C is down here. You're gonna switch to your third finger on the third fret, one, two, three, third fret on the A string, good cats, eat apples. Okay, so we jump from the top string down to the bottom string. And then we go to an F chord. Go ahead and put your one finger on the, se on the um, second string, and we actually count from this way, one, two, on the first fret, and then your second finger on the fourth string, one, two, three, four, that is your F. Okay. So you're skipping over a string and have one on the bottom as well. After F, we go to G. So this one you do have to just kind of switch these around in general, and you're gonna be on the first string and the third string, both on the second fret, and then you take your third finger, and put it right in between these two, like it's right in between those two, but on the third fret, on the second string. So if any of your uh, chords are kind of buzzy, that's totally fine, just keep practicing them throughout the week. Okay, so just a review one more time. Uh, we start on A minor, we go to C, then we play F, and then we switch our fingers around and play G. Oops, I didn't play right. G. So let's try doing one, I'm sorry, we started A minor. One. Yeah, we're gonna do one, two, three, four. 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 So we're going to try to hold each one for four. If the transitions are difficult for you to get there on the one, you wanna be there on that one. So one, two, three, four, one. I'm gonna get right there on that one. If that's difficult for you, leave the chord uh, early. So one, two, three, four, one. So that way you saw that like, okay, I left pretty much on the beat of two, but I made sure that I was definitely ready to strum this one on that next uh, downbeat or that next one. So that's most important. It's okay if you leave a little early. It's more important that you get to that next chord on the one. So let's try that together, ready? One, two, three, Four, one, two, going to F, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do it again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, leave earlier, can you? Three, four, one, two, three, one more time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so um, good job doing that three times in a row. Hopefully it went well for you. Uh, if you are struggling with this part, you can definitely still do the entire song just working on that. So um, if you don't wanna move on to a strum pattern yet and you really wanna master just transitions and chords, I would just play the song like that, which sounds like this. Walk in your rainbow paradise. Two, three, four. Strawberry lipstick, state of mind. You don't have to say love me. So you 
can just go through it just strumming it once and it'll still sound uh, great, especially with you singing. Um, so if that's where you are, just stay there. And then once you master that, then you can definitely move on to the strum pattern. So now to look at the strum pattern. Strum pattern for this song is down, mute, down, down, mute. Okay, so we're gonna do it a little slower. So it's down, mute, down, down, mute. Well, for people who like to count, one and two, and three, and four, and, okay? One, and two, and three, and four, and, sorry, one and four. So we mute on the two and four. One, and two, and three, and four, and. But let's slow it down. We're gonna try down, mute, down, down, mute. Let's try that four times in a row. Ready? Down, mute, down, down, mute. Again, down, mute, down, down, mute. Into mute, you just literally hit the strings. Down, mute, down, down, mute. Down, mute, down, down, mute. Okay, and you're gonna do this once per chord. So we have down, mute, down, down, mute. And then we're gonna move to C. Down, mute, down, down, mute, and we'll go to F, down, mute, down, down, mute, and G. Down, mute, down, down, mute. Which also, if you see the mute is actually at the end of the strum pattern, that will actually give you a little bit of time to transition to your next chord, having a mute at the end of that transition. So it's also kind of uh, helpful there. So let's try going through all four chords at that same speed, doing down, Mute, down, down, mute, once per chord. Ready, go. Down, mute, down, down, mute, change. Down, mute, down, down, mute, F. Down, mute, down, down, mute, G. Down, mute, down, down, mute, and it goes right back to A minor, so let's try it again. Ready, go. Down, mute, down, Second, switch to G. Down, mute, down, down, mute. Very good. We're going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit now. So we're going to go to down, mute, down, down, mute. We're going to go to that speed. Ready? Ready, go. Down, mute, down, down, mute. C, mute, down, down, mute. F, down, mute, down, down, mute. G, down, mute, down, down, mute. Again. doing I hope you're getting to that G fast enough I know that one's usually the hardest transition for people so um, if you need to keep working on this this week what you really want to work on is just doing that one strum first getting the, uh, the good transitions and then just starting this strum pattern off slowly and then working your way up okay so one more time the actual song pace is down, down, down so just a little bit faster than we just did okay so we're going to try it at that pace ready go Awesome. <laughs> Good job. So I, like I said, I, I know that that's kind of difficult to just jump into. If you need to, another way that you can also practice the strum pattern without worrying about all of this, if you're just struggling more with the strum pattern, just play nothing or just play one chord like we did before, or you can just play nothing. Down, mute, down, down, mute, and you can just practice this as well. One thing I usually like to tell people is if you can do the strum pattern and talk, then you know that you can do it passively. And that's really our goal, because if you can do it passively, like I'm doing right now, you can focus on, um, on the chords and you can focus on singing. So I also 
um, I want you to see if you can uh, play this drum pattern with, with no chords or even just holding one chord and see if you can hold a conversation with someone and then see if you can actually remember what they said afterwards. Um, and then start slowly adding it to those chords um, and speeding it up. Okay, so let's go through um, together. We're gonna slow it down a little bit. We're gonna do so we'll go a little slower down, mute, down, down. So we're gonna go at that speed. So just try your best to follow along. Okay, ready? Sorry. Ready? Go. Walk in your rainbow paradise. For you guys i'm really I'm, I'm curious to see how everyone's doing at this i definitely recommend that if you were watching this uh before uh next week if you're watching this uh on the 16th or in this week um definitely practice this and then come to next week which is thursday at noon if you didn't know um and show me how you're doing at this i want to see how you guys are uh, doing i also want to see if you guys are able to sing it and <laughs> play it so we just did it a little bit slower um if that was difficult again just take it back on your own time. Keep practicing throughout the week. Do just the chords. Do just the strum pattern. Start doing it really slow. Or like I said, if the if the strum pattern is just throwing you off, just do the down strums. Walk in your paradise. So just holding it once, okay? You can do that as well. Another easier alternative to the strum pattern that we're doing, and, and especially with singing, is you can just do down, mute, down. You don't have to do two downs the second time. If you would like, you can do that as well. So that would look like. Which is really similar to what we're doing. I'm just doing two down strums in between. So I'm doing. So I'm doing two, I'm doing down, mute, and then two downs, mute. If you wanna make it a little easier, you can just do down, mute, down, mute, okay. All right. So we're gonna try to go a little faster and try to go the pace of the song. Um, I want you, <laughs> uh, I want you to try to see if you can sing along with me, or at least hum with me. Or if you uh, if you want to work on voice, let's say you really like singing as well. Uh, if you don't know the words, or if the words are just gonna confuse you, try it on either just humming, or if you want more of a challenging uh, voice exercise, you can do on lip shows. I know that seems funny, but if you're one of my voice uh, students, you definitely know how often we use uh, literal. So uh, that is a really helpful exercise if you want to actually get better at singing and work on this song. So if you like, try those along with it, uh, or just hum, or try to sing along the words with me as well. Ready? So we're going to do it full speed with the strum powder, with the words. Let's see how it goes. Ready? Let's, let's do like a little intro first. So we're just gonna do the four chords and not sing anything yet, right? If you get lost, that's fine. Just find your way back. 
fine when we start on an A. of yourself even if you were remotely able to keep along with that um, so I encourage you guys to keep practicing and that is definitely the goal of this class is to give you something here and then for you to put in the work into it that way it's more than you just really focusing I'm like I am playing the chord I am strumming and I am singing even um, but to get to that point where it's just like it's fun where it's like you feel so comfortable with this you could like show your friends you're just like walking around the house playing this song or at the beach at a bonfire um, that you're just playing the song and having fun and so people can enjoy it with you. Um, and then uh, that's really the best feeling is when you can just pick up an ukulele and just play for fun. It's going to feel much better than robotics. So you want to practice so much that this song becomes super comfortable, that the chords feel comfortable, transitioning from one chord to the next feels really comfortable, the strum pattern feels really comfortable, putting them together feels comfortable, and um, just do all that into the ukulele itself. Everything feels like, yeah, I got this. And then throw in the singing and then get re comfortable with all that and practice that a whole bunch of times until you're almost like borderline bored of the song. And that is when you're ready to start just walking around showing people how exciting it is. So I wish you guys the best of luck with that. I hope you have fun. It's a super fun song to sing, especially and play. And it sounds great on the ukulele. So I hope you guys had a fun lesson with me. Um, and definitely make sure to. Uh, join next week, Thursday at noon, um, to first of all, show me what you learned today. I want to see someone be able to play it at the very least, uh, but play it and sing it would be my goal. Um, and then, yes, we will also be doing another song next week. So I hope to see you guys in class and yes, have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Bye.